So for this molecule, all I did was write out the valence electrons for each one of these. For example, carbon's 4, hydrogen's 1, 1 times 3, and then times 2 because all of it is in parentheses. And then oxygen will have 6, boron will have 3, and then fluorine has 7, but there's 3 of them, so it'll be 7 times 3. And you'll have a total of 44 elect valence electrons. So now for the actual structure. When you see parentheses, that means that the CH3s have to be kept together. You can't, you can't change where the H3s are attached. So what I mean by that is like this. So the CH3s have to stay together. They can't, you, can't, um, you can't give the H to another atom or something. So you'll put, the, uh, you'll put the O in the middle, right? Because since the CH3s have to stay together, the O will be in the middle, and then you will attach the CH3s from the O. Next, uh, this gives you the clue that it will be bonded to boron, and then you'll have the fluorines attached to it. So here, um, you keep the least electronegative atom in the middle, and then surround it with the fluorines. Here, you don't do that because the CH3s have to stay together, uh, or uh, like as one unit, so then you'll attach it just to the oxygen. And now, um, the reason why this is a plus charge is because when you calculate it, when you count up the bonds and the lone pairs, um, oxygen should have six, but if you count it, one, two, three, four, five, six minus five is one, so therefore it has a plus one charge. Boron is in group three, so it should have a charge of, or it should ha have a number of three, but if we count it, one, two, three, four, so three minus four would be negative one. That's why it has a negative charge. So this is the structure for this molecule, and I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.